Yo, what's up everybody? I'm back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, I want to talk about putting ourselves in uncomfortable situations. I've known this for a pretty long time, basically since I graduated high school. I've known that it's extremely important for you to take like calculated risks. And I equate that to just being in uncomfortable situations. For example, if you're not very good at public speaking and you're kind of scared to, to speak, it's very important that you put yourself in as many situations to where you have to publicly speak in order to become a better speaker. You know, so it's crucial for us to put ourselves in these uncomfortable situations to build more confidence, to build more self character. And obviously, you want to weigh it. You want to, you don't want to put yourselves in stupid uncomfortable situations. I need to stress that you don't want to, you know, put yourselves in situations that could potentially be life threatening or, you know, destroy you financially. You don't want to, you don't want to put yourselves in situations that you can't get yourself out of, if that makes sense. A good example of what I just mentioned before, like the, the public speaking, I made a video, uh, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll put the video up here on the screen somewhere if you haven't seen it, but I was at a convention. And I went to this little seminar type thing to where I, I didn't know what to expect. I knew there was going to be like music involved because it was like a rapping slash poetry thing. I didn't think they was going to make me rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> now don't get it twisted. Your, your boy got bars, but the lady put us on the spot to where we had to create our own rap in like two minutes. And then she chose somebody randomly. If you watch the video, you know, the lady that I'm talking about, she wanted me. She liked me. So, of course, she chooses me first out of all the people there. And I had to rap in front of probably like 50 people. They got their phones out. They were recording and stuff. Let's just say I did so well that they made me do the rap again so that everybody could record because not enough people were able to. Now, I'm not saying this to try to like toot my own horn, but I'm going to be real with you. In that moment, I was scared. I was nervous. Um, I didn't really know if I was going to do well. Come on, bro. Freaky ass nigga, you a 69 God. But yeah, man, I didn't know if I was going to do well. I didn't know if I was going to perform to the level that I needed to perform to. But at the end of it, I was satisfied because everybody was happy. Everybody was clapping. Everybody was like, dang, man, that went so hard. And it's just an example of, of what I mean by putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Now I feel like not just from that one experience, but because I constantly do it, I consistently put myself in, in situations where I have to speak. Um, I work in education, so I constantly have to speak in front of teenagers, man. They are the most ruthless human beings on planet Earth. If you even mess up when you're speaking to them, you start stuttering, boy, they're going to roast the mess out of you. So, um, and that's another thing. I never thought that I would be working with kids. You know, that, that was a situation for me that's uncomfortable. But I've learned that when you, when you constantly put yourselves in situations that you wouldn't normally put yourself in, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at how you, how you handle it. It's almost like a fight or flight type thing. And you can't flee from it because you've chosen to put yourself in it. But when you're in that moment, it's like the, the adrenaline is kicking in. And a lot of times you'll do you'll do better than you expected. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes the outcome will not be favorable. But it's all to to develop character. That's why I love video games so much, man, is because I see the relevancy in video games and in real life. A lot of people, I told a girl one time that sometimes video games to me are more real than real life. And she didn't understand what I meant. There's probably a lot of y'all watching that don't understand what I mean. Um, my name control gain comes from the fact that I love video games, but to me, I can take lessons from video games and apply it to my real life. And one of those things is putting yourself in undesirable situations to either level your character to attain a certain amount of gear or a level of gear that you wouldn't be able to get unless you fought that boss, unless you went into that cave, unless you 
did that boring side quest. That's how I see it, man. It's like, okay, I don't want to normally do this, but let me do it for the sake of gains. Same thing with the gym. You put yourself, you physically, literally put your body through being uncomfortable, through pain, through torture, depending on how hard you go. And you constantly do that until your body becomes acclimated, until your body's like, this shit is easy. What you got next for me? And then you add more weight, then you add more reps. And it's a, a crazy cycle of how the human mind and the human body can just basically adapt to stress, you know, good stress. You don't want, you know, a, a woman who's nagging you. You don't want, you know, uh, bills that are piling up that you can't afford to pay. You don't want that kind of stress. You want controllable stress. You want, you want things that are beneficial to you after you go through the stress, if that makes sense. But yeah, man, this is, it's something, like I said, that I've known for a while and I figured that I would share with everybody. Look at your life and see in what parts of your life you can, you can add controllable stress, ways that you can be uncomfortable and gain something out of it. And that's a plethora of things, man, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's public speaking, whether it's, I don't know, even just being out in public. Sometimes I still fight this. Sometimes I get anxious just being around a lot of people uh, just because I'm a, I'm an introvert, man. This YouTube channel was something that I was uncomfortable with at first. And now I'm beginning to get more comfortable. I was never really good at looking at a camera and just speaking to an inanimate object, but it's becoming, it's becoming more natural to me. I'm becoming comfortable with what was originally uncomfortable. And all of this ultimately will help you build confidence, man. Confidence in just your own abilities. You might not be the best at certain things, but that's what, that's what this is about is strengthening your weaknesses. But yeah, man, I've rambled on long enough. I think I want to keep my videos pretty short, you know, under 10 minutes because uh, I myself, I don't like watching long videos. So I could I could imagine some of y'all are probably like that, too. But yeah, man, also want to really quickly ask if you are new to the channel that you please subscribe, man. I'm going to be real with you. I'm very, very excited about this content that I'm making. But what makes me even more excited is when I see growth. And one indicator of growth is seeing the sub number increase. I've already gained like four or five subs just by doing, you know, this new content that I'm doing. And it makes me happy, man. So I, I'd like to see that continue to grow. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you stay to the end of the video, please leave a like on it. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.